Greetings, everyone. This is, I'm Todd Comer, and I'm teaching Intro to the Humanities, and you're probably wondering, what is this class about? Um, so I'm going to try to introduce the class, and I'm going to run you through the syllabus. This is going to be a bit boring, but it's going to be incredibly important. So let's begin. The whole class, in a way, is answering this question. What is this thing called the humanities? Well, uh, the best way to understand what the class is about, of course, is to engage in it and experience it. This is a course about creativity. You wanna know how your best friend created that song? How Steve Jobs created an Apple computer? Do you wanna know where great music comes from, great literature comes from, uh, great art, great movies? Well, we're gonna be talking about creativity and creativity is a very human thing. We're gonna be talking about power because sometimes the great enemy of creativity is power. Some people in power may not want your creativity. We're gonna talk about how power works and, and how creativity is at odds with power. We're gonna talk about identity and the nature of the self, how the West in European sense, tends to think about individualism and how other places in the world have a very more complicated idea of identity. We're gonna talk about freedom. Um, we're gonna talk about what it is that makes us human. Uh, we're gonna listen to music. We're gonna think about art, literature. We're gonna watch about watch music videos. Um, I'm still actually finishing the syllabus. I think I'm about seven weeks in. The course was just given to me. Um, so I'm actually very, very excited. And I'm gonna walk you through quite a bit of the first five, six weeks so you have an idea what's to come. Um, so again, the humanities are very much about what it means to be human, but they're also about things that are produced by humans. So if you like art, literature, music, if you're listening to music nonstop as I do, well, you're interested in the humanities because the humanities are about the things that humans create culturally. All right, so let's do some things that are not terribly interesting, but necessary. First of all, this is an online class and it's asynchronous. That means that uh, we don't meet in person for the most part, but that also means, though you can always come to my office and meet with me. I'm in 225 Walker right now. This is my office. Um, an online class means that almost everything you do is out there on your own. It means that you wake up every morning on your own and you have to log into to, to the Canvas. You need to check your email. An online class is actually harder because if it, in fact, if an online class is just as difficult as the normal person-to-person -person class, the problem is it's inevitably more difficult because it takes a lot more organization to show up every day online. It's far more work to read things, to keep up on things on your own than to come into class three days a week. So I need you to realize if you're not you're new to online education, it actually takes a lot of effort and organization. If you don't have an organizational method, get one, right? And we can talk about that, the two of us. Um, asynchronous means that rather than the entire class meeting Monday, Wednesday, Friday online at 10 a.m., uh, you're going to be doing work that's staggered. We're never going to meet as a group uh, at the same time, okay? So that means, again, you're not going to be, you can phone me, you can email me, you can meet with me here in person and get direction. But if you don't do those things, you have to rely on the schedule. And the schedule, by the way, in my class, the syllabus schedule is far more important than Canvas. I'll talk about that more. Okay, so um, a little bit more. Uh, if you have issues with technology, um, if you don't have a computer, that kind of thing, that's a problem for this course. You should have a computer and you should be able to get into Canvas. You should be able to check your email. If you're not comfortable doing those things, we need to catch you up very, very quickly. Um, as I said, 95, 99% of this class is online. Your exams actually will be in person. 
Um, if you're not actually in Wilberforce at Wilberforce University, we can talk about that. But when the exam time comes, you'll actually, I'll set aside two or three different times and you will come to one of those times and take your exam at that time. Um, so we're gonna go and look through the schedule, the syllabus very, very in a detailed way. Um, in a minute. So I'm going to show you the syllabus and then we'll come back to this page. So the syllabus is linked to on Canvas. Um, so you should be able to access all of this. And I'm gonna say this again, the syllabus is important to me. I don't use Canvas. I don't use the modules. I don't use many of the things on Canvas. I don't see any need to because it's all on my syllabus. So I want you to check the syllabus. And if the Canvas does not uh, match up with the syllabus, guess what? The syllabus is correct, okay? So let's, we're gonna do this slowly and make sure you, you are with me. Um, over here on the right, you see, see my email address. You should email me. Don't contact me through Canvas, please. Email me. Here's my phone number. For the most part, no one phones me. Uh, email me or stop by my office. Walker225 is keep going through King and you will make it to Walker. Appointments, I will be happy to email you, excuse me, schedule meetings with you every week. Just send me an email and we'll make plans. I have a website you can check out. Uh, over here on the left, uh, so there's your syllabus, yes, but I have these gener a general policy page. You click here and it'll tell you a bunch of general policies. Um, and you should read all of this about my teaching style and about free debate and participation and how to behave in class because sometimes people need help with these things. Um, there's a, a little reminder, like a two page reminder of things that I require in the classroom. If you want to go to the schedule, all you do is this. If you want to go back to the top of the syllabus, all you do is this. So uh, this right here are readings in this class and you might want to download them uh, in the future. You might need these. Uh, there might be a few that don't belong here, but that's all right. Um, don't download these readings immediately though, because I'm still creating the syllabus probably by the end of the week, I'll have the schedule finished. I'm pretty happy about where it is now. There might be a few items added to that folder. Keep that in mind. So uh, this is supposed to be a survey of the humanities. And it's supposed to talk about philosophy and painting, sculpture, music, and literature. And it's supposed to show how these things are related. Um, all of those things are going to happen in this class um, and other things. So the texts in this class are all on the schedule. So you want to go to the schedule and you will see links, links, links. Okay. Um, you will have three exams. Each one is cumulative. You'll have quizzes. I will quiz you frequently and you will have discussion forums. Now, very simply, uh, these are the points. You have to show up for these things. Um, you have to take the quizzes. Uh, if you miss a quiz, you can't go back. It's done. Uh, if you miss a discussion forum, you can't go back. It's done. Okay. So, uh, it, I think that's fairly clear. Um, I've had tremendous amount of issues with academic dishonesty recently, students who'd rather have computers do their work. Um, I don't think I need to tell you that if computers do your work through four years of college, that means in essence that you haven't learned anything. So reading a text helps you. It teaches you vocabulary, it teaches you how to analyze, it teaches you on fundamentally on multiple levels. If you tell AI to read something for you and generate some questions, 
you're not learning anything and you basically wasted four years of your life. So I don't want to see discussion forums that are clearly written by AI. I don't want to see work in this class written by computers. You can write it, write work on computers, but I don't want to actually see chat GPT producing your work. Please take education seriously, take this class seriously, and let's actually engage as people, not as robots. Because if you're letting computers do it, you're not really being human. You're actually being something other than human. So uh, here's the grade scale. Uh, reminder again, pay attention to the syllabus and the schedule, not Canvas. What matters is the schedule. So we begin with a question. And uh, I divide each part of the class up this way. So yellow subheadings, part one is what are the humanities? So today is the first day of this class. Uh, there are a whole bunch of things here. Um, I've already mentioned this. I've already mentioned that there are going to be a lot of links. Remember that your readings, you should do them before the day listed on the schedule. So if something's listed for Friday, then you should read everything or watch everything before Friday. Uh, I've already explained online asynchronous course. Um, I've already mentioned that all exams will be in person. Um, okay, good, good, good. There is a format for writing emails. I would appreciate it if you try to be formal and professional. So look at this example of a student email that nails it pretty well. Please try to be formal and professional because basically college, even though it's a lot of fun, is basically preparation for work. And if you can't organize in your life in college, you're going to have trouble after college. If you can't write professional emails in college, you know, well, you might have trouble doing that afterwards. So uh, these are just opening notes. And then uh, I should slow down. Notice it says week one. Each week, it will say something like one, and it'll begin with a date. M is short for Monday. Uh, and under each day, it'll say read or do or watch. So for today, you should be reading the syllabus. You should read about these tips for being successful. You should read the syllabus part two, which I showed you above, and those first week of the semester reminders, which I showed you above. Now, uh, what I'm doing right now is the introduction to the course, which I will add to the syllabus in the next half hour. Um, you should fill out this questionnaire and let's make that, it'll be due on Wednesday, okay? I'll add a box to Canvas for it. Don't email me with this, just upload it on Canvas. It'll be, on, it'll be available sometime in the next two, two days. It also says to read the syllabus and send me an email. Now, this is going to be interesting. Uh, if half the class does not send me an email in the next two days, uh, again, this should say before the next class. What I've done, what I've done in this class is I basically made it a Monday, Wednesday, Friday plan. So even though it's not, we're not meeting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I typically group my assignments according to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So um, it will be telling how many people actually contact me via email on Wednesday. If half the class does not email me, that's a bad sign. And it tells me people are either not watching the reading the syllabus or not watching my video. So one question by Wednesday. Wednesday, W is for Wednesday. There are some short videos here. You know, watch these. I might produce. Um, frequently, I'm going to highlight things that I need to do on my end. So if I'm going to produce a video, this highlighting is reminding me, hey, Todd, don't forget you need to produce something. Now, uh, there's a very, even though there's a, it's, it might not happen that I feel, will feel the need, feel the need to create a video to kind of talk about these other videos you're watching. Uh, it's very possible there will be a quiz. So this highlight reminds me, hey, Todd, on Wednesday, put, get that quiz ready. Now, uh, a lot of the readings I've already told you are in a folder. Um, wait until the end of the week. 
to download those readings. On Thursday before midnight, by th Thursday before midnight, I want you to go to our Canvas discussion forum, which I will create in the next couple of days, uh, and I want you to introduce yourself. Now, that's pretty clear, right? So these are like to help you learning. You guys should be highlighting. If you're reading a PDF, you should learn how to highlight and make notes in it. So that's to help you out. Friday, you've got your first big reading. Uh, and it's under during. It's alphabetical. Last name is during. So you'll go here. You'll look for during. And there it is. What were the humanities anyway? You'll print that out and you will read it. Okay. And I will produce some kind of presentation related to Simon Durings, uh, Simon Durings um, essay. And that'll be on Friday as well, okay? It says do complete quiz over this quick, read quick week's reading. And it says there will be another online forum about the week's reading. Now you will. These online forums are the areas where you discuss. We don't have classroom conversations, so you have to do it online. Here's the thing about online discussions. I can absolutely excite students in the classroom. It's, it's not, generally speaking, difficult for me. Uh, however, online, an online discussion puts a huge amount of weight on each of you. If you guys are not engaged, if you're not excited, if you're not doing the work, these things can be dreadful and boring. It is up to you to make this class exciting. And if you don't inject all your energy into it, it will not be fun. And that's not good because we're talking about some fantastic things. And education can be fun, but it takes actual effort. Okay, so uh, I'm going to move a little bit more quickly now. The first thing we're doing after this question of what are the humanities, we're going to talk about creativity as remixing. And we're going to talk about music a lot. So you read about Led Zeppelin, famous hard rock band. You're going to read a, watch a one-hour video called Everything is a Remix. Really fun. Here are a whole bunch of examples of remixing, Okay. I'm going to do a presentation talking about remixing and using a lot of these examples like Into the Spider-Verse and how Apple still stole uh, the graphic user interface from Xerox. Maybe I'll talk about the Wu-Tang Clan, and Tours, remixing of Sufjan Stevens. By the way, that's a great remix. Um, another online discussion. Then we're going to move on to what is at stake in the notion of ownership. This video is almost three hours long. so. I've warned you, don't try to watch it all at once. Um, if I have something that says to be determined, uh, I might later on be adding something there, but there's a good chance if I've left it TBD, if it's Friday, excuse me, if it's Wednesday, W is for Wednesday, F is for Friday, if it's Wednesday and you see to be determined, I'm probably not going to add something there. Uh, I am going to add a presentation, right? Uh, though that's just not highlighted in yellow. I'll absolutely try to ice, try to talk you through the corporation on Wednesday of that week. Okay, so uh, Friday, no readings, nothing to watch, but there will be an online discussion forum Friday through Sunday. So the next part is how does social change begin with creative hybridity? Uh, and this is probably the hardest thing you will read, this thing by John Fisk. So you'll go here, you will scroll down, it's called The Gening of America, and you'll read that. And what I recommend in that case is watch my presentation on Fisk first, because otherwise you're going to be like, what in God's name is happening? He's talking about blue jeans, but why? Why is he talking about blue jeans? Okay, so... I think you're probably getting good good ideas. So your first exam happens on week five. You're going to review your notes. You're going to watch my presentation about which will attempt to synthesize the entire semester thus far. You're going to study. Uh, you're going to meet with me on Wednesday. You're going to ask questions on an online forum about the that about the 
material and the exam coming up and on Friday, you will take it. And I will set aside times on that day. Uh, most likely it'll be Friday or Thursday, it could be both, on that day for you to take your exam. So um, I've started putting up the putting up the next part of the class. Uh, the next part is about appropriation. And this is Kim Kardashian, who was famous for a moment because she decided she was going to style her hair in terms of cornrows. And that was a bit upsetting for a lot of African Americans because here's this woman essentially arguably, allegedly, stealing from African-American culture. So the next part of this class is going to be about appropriation or appreciation. And we're going to talk about that issue and ownership um, and so on. I think if we scroll down uh, a whole bunch of examples of right here, a whole bunch of examples of recent, uh, somewhat recent examples of appropriation. Um, the song Hakuna Matata, is that it? I think it is in The Lion King. It has been apparently copyrighted by Disney, but that's actually a indigenous African, it might be Swahili uh, phrase. So here you have Walt Disney and company copywriting a, a phrase out of another culture or otherwise appropriating it. So we still have not, there's gonna be another week or two about appropriation and, and copyright issues, those sorts of things. Uh, eventually there's gonna be more about uh, identity at the end of the semester. Um, might try to throw in a movie. I'm thinking about the Black Panther movie, which I thought was fantastic. Anyway, that gives you an idea of how the class is going to run. Um, what I would do if I were you is uh, hopefully you're taking notes during the presentations, including this one. What I would do if I were you is look at the syllabus slowly, read it, follow the directions, and tell me if you don't understand how this is put together. Again, the syllabus gives you the information you need. Begin with the syllabus, don't rely on Canvas, okay? I will, this is a brand new class, and unfortunately I was given it uh, recently, so all the material for this class has not been created. So I'm gonna be creating things as we go, and you'll see that, you'll, it'll be Wednesday, and you'll say, all right, I'm looking at the syllabus, but there's still clearly a presentation that Todd needs to put online. Normally what will happen is, by two or three in the afternoon, everything for a particular day will be online, and then you can tackle those things. Um, okay, uh, read the syllabus, send me questions, do exactly what the syllabus asks you to do. Let's go down here again. These are little opening notes, right? It tells you to read things, right? Do all those things. It tells you to watch something, which is what you're doing right now. It tells you to do these things, all right? So this is pretty clear directions, I hope. All right, back here. So here's the thing. I'm available and I'm here for you. I've already told you online education is difficult. I think that it's too abstract. I think people learn better in person, but you chose this. So I want you to know I'm here. You can meet with me every week if you want. You have any problems, I am here for you. But if you don't contact me, I just assume you're fantastic and you're doing fine. If you don't say, Todd, I'm confused by the syllabus, I can't help you. If you don't say, Todd, I don't understand what John Fisk and the gening of America is trying to say, I can't help you. You have to communicate to me. And I'm always going to be here five days a week. I will be in my office and or checking email and working, all right? I simply need you to communicate if you need help, okay? I get paid to help you. Remember that. And more importantly, I love meeting with people. I love talking with people. So I think that's enough for today. Um, 